Hey, it's B Surf, and I'm gonna show you this in my uh, TNT world how to make a TNT cannon. So first off, you're gonna start out with a seven by nine frame of any material, any block that, yeah, any block, but not a transparent block. You're gonna do this seven by nine frame. You're gonna fill in on the ed the two long edges, just like that. So just like that. And the center one you can also fill in. And you're gonna do these little ridges on the sides here. Just like so. So it looks like this. See that? Nice and tidy. Um so that's your basic frame. Yeah. So then you're gonna start doing the red stand. So you go right here, do this T all the way up to the edge here, and like this. Oops, don't put there. Then you're gonna put on either side these repeaters. Just go, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six here, over here, and your seven. You can do all the way clocked in. So the same here. <laughs> oh yes. My brother thankfully told me. Um yeah, like this. So, it, there's three spaces in the middle. And what, this is basically a redstone here. You can see from above, it's a good angle. I'll show you. Um, next, you can put your switch. And you can put two buckets of water. So, just to show that you're getting maximum length, so it doesn't flow anymore. So then you're gonna basically fill up. So you put your TNT there. Make sure the source block isn't covered up, or else it'll just blow all up. And then your ammunition will be right here and right here. These two are the ones being watched. So you could basically like kind of count what's your best way of firing it by the length of by the ticks you you let the pulse go for but I'm just gonna show this example this one one that work well. show that got delayed and they got fired boom there it went see there's two that's how it's done yeah as my brother said That's how I do my TNT cannons. Um, if you like this, please leave a like or comment down below, or even favorite or subscribe. So, as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.